हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ पार्ट टू ऑफ फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग इंडिविजुअल डिमांड इन विच वी विल टॉक अबाउट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री गुड्स और कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स सो द सेकेंड फैक्टर दैट अफेक्ट्स डिमांड इज प्राइसिस ऑफ अदर गुड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक अबाउट दिस फैक्टर इन आर लास्ट वीडियो इन विच we have studied that demand for good x is influenced or is affected by the prices of other good or we can say prices of related goods for example good z this type of demand is called cross price demand in mathematical form we can write it as demand for good x is a function of price of good z so when we are saying that demand for good x is a function of price of good z it means that demand for good x is influenced or is affected by the prices of other good or prices of related good that is good z ceteris paribus means that fact that other factors which can affect demand are assumed as constant that other factors which can affect demand are assumed as constant so case 2 when x and z are complements complementary goods are those which are jointly used or consumed together to satisfy a want so these are those goods which are jointly used or they are consumed together to satisfy a want examples can be tea and sugar car and petrol pen and ink bread and butter cigarettes and cigarette lighter compact disc player and compact discs etc we are taking an example of car and petrol suppose that price of petrol is increased suppose that price of petrol is increased in that case the demand for car will be decreased if price of petrol is increased then definitely the demand for car will be decreased if we see the graphical representation of this here we have two axes this is the vertical axis and this is the horizontal axis on the vertical axis we have taken price of car and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity of car initial price of car is assumed as op this is the initial price which is assumed as op initial quantity demanded of car is oc this one and this is the initial demand curve for car which is d okay now suppose that if price of petrol if price of petrol is increased then demand for car will be decreased okay so you can see in this way that earlier the demand for car was oc and now it has been reduced to oc1 okay it has been reduced to oc one and this will lead to a leftward shift of the demand curve this is a leftward shift of demand curve from d to d1 and you can notice one more thing that there is no change in price of car earlier the price of car was op and now the price of car is also same it is op there is no change in price of car but the demand for car has been reduced why it is reduced because the price of petrol is increased so when at the same price the demand decreases it leads to it leads to leftward shift when at the same price the demand decreases it leads to leftward shift of demand curve clear an increase in the price of a complementary good decreases the quantity demanded of the other good as we have seen in our example that an increase in a price of petrol decreases the quantity demanded of the car 
if there is an increase in price of complementary good the demand curve shifts leftward as we have just seen that the demand curve for car shifts leftward from d to d1 thus demand for a good usually moves in the opposite direction to a change in price of its complements why opposite direction c if price of petrol is increased then demand for car will be decreased opposite direction and in the same way if price of petrol is decreased then demand for car will be increased opposite direction okay demand for a good usually moves in the opposite direction to a change in price of its complements clear thank you